Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 finally has a Steam store page that shows brand new information about the chapter and new screenshots. I think it's safe to say that this new chapter is going to be massive. I believe it's going to take the horror aspect to the next level as we keep going deeper and deeper into the secrets that the Playtime Co. has hidden. And lucky for us, the release is right around the corner with a release date of winter of 2023, so hopefully within the next few months. Now, it's important to mention that the Steam page has been changing the photos over the past week, so keep that in mind. Mind. Now, let's take a look at the information about the game first. Steam has the game described as a decrepit orphanage known as Playcare sits beneath the once magical toy factory. You must make your way through this haunted place, solving new puzzles and avoiding the nightmares that lurk within the dark. Answers lie between the blood-stained bedsheets and screaming echoes if you can survive. With that being said, it's pretty clear they are taking this chapter to the next level. Now, they mentioned solving new puzzles. This means we can expect more than just turning on the power and or opening doors with our grab packs. This means they will be adding different grab packs to bring more variety. They also put an emphasis on haunting and nightmares, further pushing the narrative of a more darker setting, and I love that. The page also mentions how this is Poppy Playtime's biggest and most terrifying chapter yet with even more lying ahead than we think. It's stated that there are new monsters, much more than just simple toys. This means there's going to not only be a new main antagonist, but even more new characters that we will run into along the way, both good and bad. But they say much more than just simple toys. So I think we are going to see the different stages of what the toys slash kids went through, as we will see toys with organic matter inside them. But more on that later on. It's also mentioned that Playcare is Playtime's own massive fantastical orphanage and we get to explore it, meaning the location that we will be in is going to be so much bigger than the previous two chapters. This is great to hear because this also means that the chapter is going to be a lot longer than the previous two as well. We can't expect it to be around the five hour mark, give or take. So going back to the new puzzles that I mentioned before, it's stated that the grab pack gets a new upgrade and new hands permit new and creative ways to explore. So of course, this means new grab packs, which will be used not only to solve puzzles, but to get around. I'll dive deeper into this when we look at the photos. They also mention a gas mask is the only way to safely explore through the red smoke that fills the air. This is huge and brings a whole new aspect to the game. The red mask that has been used throughout the marketing will be using this in game to move around some areas that are filled with this poppy gas. And it also says answers will finally be revealed. Lies can only stay buried for so long. So hopefully we get some serious answers to all of the questions and theories that have been going around from the start. I'm excited to learn how this all started and what exactly went wrong that turned this place upside down. So there are also six new photos that have been released that gives us a bunch of new information about the facility. And like I mentioned before, they have been changing these pictures on the Steam page. So even the ones I'm talking about now could still change. In this first picture, we see a few new elements. We finally get to see the the red gas that I was just talking about. This gas is red poppy flower gas that was used to put the kids to sleep as part of the process to transfer their human consciousness into toys. So of course it's very important that we don't breathe this in. This is why we will need the gas mask. Now it looks like there is also water that we will need to avoid. If the gas is in the water, I'm assuming the water will harm us as well. This leads to my next point. We also see a purple grab pack scanner. Each color somewhat has a purpose. For example, the green one has the ability to hold an electrical charge to be able to carry to another source. So I think it's safe to say that the purple will be for something different as well. Considering it's on the ground, this might be to release the water from the area or maybe even release the gas. Or it could even raise a platform to be able to walk on. Something along those lines. The next photo shows us many toys hung from the ceiling and destroyed with blood on the floor. I think this is from an aftermath of an attack or something like that. That. Although it's set up to look like the toys that are hanging there have been dripping blood on the floor. This would be interesting as maybe these toys were at a stage where they were alive with organic matter inside them, hence them dripping blood. Remember how the page says much more than just simple toys? Well, this could be what they're talking about. The third photo shows us what looks to be the entrance of some part of the play care. We can see blood all over the statue and blood all around the toys that are laying on the ground. This leads to the same 
same question if these smaller toys were maybe tests where they were alive and able to bleed. This is somewhat a recurring theme amongst these photos. In the next photo, there is not much to see unfortunately. It's just a long eerie hallway. Although in the next room, the round object could be a well entrance or something along those lines, but I'm not quite sure. The fifth photo shows us a lot. This place looks to be where the kids might have been kept considering the beds and desks, but there are also emergency eye wash and safety shower stations next to the beds. That's really weird as these are used in most laboratories for washing chemicals and hazardous substances out of your eyes and or your body. With that being said, we can assume these were for if the poppy gas somehow leaked onto the kids or something along those lines. Although I think it's for something we just haven't seen yet, considering these kids were constantly tested on. We could still learn about other chemicals used or other methods implemented. We will have to wait and see. There are also scratch marks all over the wall next to what looks to be an air vent. This could be how someone or something escapes the room. What that something is? Well, that's for another video. In the last photo, we see some kind of kids play or learning area with kid chairs and desks all over. Written on the wall in blood is the hour of joy with more blood underneath even more hanging toys. Clearly someone or something is purposely hanging these toys, but who? Well, I think the best guess is the new main antagonist, but we'll have to wait and see. With that being said, I think it's safe to say that these toys are more than just toys. With all of the blood around them, I'm assuming these are the toys that were tested on with organic matter inside them, but I'm sure we'll learn all about that in the new chapter. With all this new information, I think it's safe to say that chapter 3 is going to be massive, and it looks like they are really stepping up the horror aspect of the game as well. This is great to see, and I really hope we get more answers than questions. Are you excited for this new chapter? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like horror game content like this, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow my Twitter at TerrifyT. Thanks for watching.